the IMAX Theater at the Museum of Discovery and Science, and I had the chance to talk to an IMAX expert who gave us a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to get your favorite hits on the big screen. Chief projectionist Armando Mena ducks and loops through yards of film, getting ready for the upcoming show. So what makes the IMAX Theater different from your typical one? Everything does, from the size of the equipment, the size of the screen, probably 10, 15 times more speakers, sound system. Especially the size of the film. You got 35 millimeter frames, 70 millimeter, 15 per IMAX. One frame, one frame. It's about 10 times larger, and that's why we're able to fill a five story screen. That's right. The screen reaches a staggering 60 feet, making its audience seem minuscule in its comparison. But what I want to know is how it's put together. How does he operate the heavy machinery? This is the classic IMAX film right here. This consists of about 25 to 27 reels. We have to assemble it. You come to work overnight and you have to splice each reel together. So the process is about three days prior to where the customers see the film for the first time. We've already been working on it for at least three days so we can get it on the screen. And when I said heavy, I wasn't exaggerating. This is your classic 45-minute film. This is probably about 150 pounds, where your Hollywood-style film, Harry Potter here, is 600 pounds each reel. So you have one 600-pound here and one 600-pound at the bottom. She's done about 1,200 pounds of film. In the classic film, running off this Mark II system, this is the Mark II system, the, the beginning of the film is on the outside, where on this system, it's on the inside. So here you have, you have to lace up the leader, and you prep it enough leader to go around the entire system and come back out the output side. So you get the film, you thread it through these rollers here, and then you go across to the input side of the projector. You thread it inside the rotor, and then it comes through your output side as your return come in right back to the same side but the opposite platter and then you just set it up synchronize your sound system and you're ready to go as you can see there's a lot of hard work that goes into making your IMS experience worthwhile to bring you that crisp image that's what you require this type of system to be able to put it on screen uh, in comparison to a regular 35 millimeter there is no comparison we are the best of the best, not digital, not 35. IMAX film is the best. Now that you know all about the IMAX theater, it's time to turn those cell phones off and get your popcorn ready. Your IMAX experience is about to begin. I'm Elena Marte, back to you in the studio.